Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Jody, and today I'm going to be showing you a technique that I use when I'm modeling um, three-dimensional furniture for interior design projects. Um, I call this technique uh, a reference cube, and uh, what it does is it helps me make sure that when I am making furniture pieces that I'm making them to the appropriate dimensions and to scale for whatever project they're going to be used in. If you like this video, be sure to hit the subscribe button. And if you have a suggestion for a video that you would like to see, be sure to let me know in the comments below. For more information about my other services, click the link to visit my website at www.jbartistrydesign.com. Okay, so for this five minute um, tutorial, what we're gonna do is we're going to find a piece of furniture. Um, I've selected this one from Wayfair. And within the project, or within the um, furniture piece, we're gonna look for some of the photography um, that will work for our project. We want a front on image and a side on image. Um, I've screenshotted these two um, photographs from the website and uh, we also want to come down and we want to look at the um, dimensions of this piece. So um, I'm really only concerned with the exterior dimensions, length, width, and height. We've got 26 wide by 32 by 29. I'm going to go ahead and open my SketchUp window and I'm going to start by making a cube. 26 by 32 and then push pull to 29 inches high. Um, on this cube we're going to take those um, screenshots that we found and we're going to apply them to the faces of our cube. The front picture goes on the front of the cube, the side picture goes on the side. And then we're going to use the texture placement tool. If you don't know how to use this tool, um, we can do another tutorial for this one at another time. But we're just going to um, trim this element down so that we can resize it to our proper dimensions. Okay, so once we've got the textures placed, um, we're going to use this as our um, reference for creating some guidelines along this piece. Um, the first guideline that I always like to do is a center line because more often than not, I'm going to be mirroring the elements that I'm going to be modeling. Um, I'm going to mark off the important uh, dimensions here. So I've got the width of the leg there and I've got the placement of this front support, and the height of the cushion, and then I want some general angles of the furniture elements here. Um, once I've got all the reference lines kind of marked out, um, and I can always add more if I feel like I need them, but I'm going to select the whole thing and group it. And then I'm going to name my group Reference Cube. Um, now, just so that you understand, the reason for doing this is um, the majority of the modeling that I do for furniture pieces is um, done in groups. And what happens is, like for example, um, I want to make this piece here on the front. And so let's say I'm going to make this piece and I know that um, it's going to be a separate element. I'm going to make this a group. Um, and so what happens is when I've come in here and created this piece, I'm going to put it in x-ray mode so we can see through. But what, what happens is when I'm inside of another group, I cannot see the um, textures and the images that are outside of that group. They don't show up. Um, so we draw these lines on here 
to give us a point of reference for when we are trying to model things inside this group. So, for example, um, if I was to go inside of this group now and I want to make sure that this piece aligns with um, the front leg here, um, what I can do is I can uh, go into whoops, go into my side view mode here and then into parallel projection that makes everything flat and two-dimensional so I can see my piece here and what I would end up doing is moving this over and then rotating it in a way that was consistent with the front edge of that of that um, furniture piece which I can see is correct because um, I can see the reference lines that I've created. So I'm just going to do a little bit more modeling on this just so that you can get an idea of how I use this process. So you get an idea about how I'm using this cube. Um, it's helpful to have these lines drawn on the surface to help me get um, some dimensions and some accurate sizing. And now you can see when I've created this um, model, everything is within the, the cube. So I know that the dimensions, the overall dimensions are gonna be right. So. Um, that's about it for right now. If you um, like this video, please go ahead and um, hit the like button and be sure to subscribe and check out some of my other videos. Um, I love to do the modeling of the furniture and um, so I post a lot of just um, time lapse videos of me doing some of the complex modeling with sub D and other um, subdivision um, modeling tools. So um, if there's something specific that you would like to see, feel free to drop me a line in the comments and um, let me know uh, if, how you like this video if you have any questions on this process. So that's about it for today. Have a great day, you guys.